Hi, I'm JD and I'm, and I'm in the Manitou program. Hi, I'm Kayla and I'm in the Manitou program. Hi, I'm Anella and I'm in the Manitou program. Hi, I'm Ginger and I'm in the Manitou program. Hi, I'm Haley and I'm in the Manitou program. My name is Laurel Wilbert and I'm the unit director here and I've been at the Port Wayne site for about six years now. About two and a half years ago is when I first ran the Manadu program, or I had my team director run the Manadu program for us. My name is Brian Hernandez, and I'm a Learning Center Coordinator at the Boys and Girls School of Port Wainimi, and I have been facilitating the Manadu program since early July. I've been teaching the Manadu program to military kids because um, the military base is actually like half a mile away from here, so we get a big flow of military children. So the Manadu program for the military kids really helps them communicate a lot more and I believe that when they move to their next post or their families move to their next post, they'll be able to, um, to open up to people and be more open-minded with people and um, understand that if they don't, they don't understand them, not necessarily they don't like them, they just don't know them and they don't realize that they're the same. I'm moving soon. Well, it's going to be hard because I don't know anyone there. I've had kids that have been in five different schools in six years. Yes, I had to move. So I, the book does touch the bases on certain things that everybody experiences, no matter who you are. You, have to, you experience it in your life. Yes, I did like Manadu because it taught me a lot of things in the book. And when I answered the questions, it kind of related to me. I learned from Manadu that I'm not the only one that's alone and like, like without friends. It just lets me feel much more better and makes me my head feel clear and stuff. I would have done what Wella did, and um, she can she like got through it with. Cruise being gone. I'm in the same thing that she's in, so I'm doing whatever she does because I don't know what to do. They're resilient, but it's it's really hard on them um, to talk and learn to trust people, especially when they're going from place to place or person to person or family to family. I've thought it over. I used to, you know, I used to be angry because of school because you know. I, I'm not the best social person. I, can't, I don't really make much friends, so. And I used to be angry when I would come home. If I see something that's wrong that they're doing, that I think I've caused myself, I could just say stop, you know, that's wrong, and stuff. This really gives them an opportunity to um, decipher what they feel and how to say it, and realizing that other people might not like it, but that's okay as long as they're um, respectful of each other. Manadu has made my life easier by, you know, helping express my feelings for my family. You know, I changed my, my attitude. I think I'm more positive now than I used to. They're able to take their um, their books and their their bags because they like their bags um, with them, and so it gives them an opportunity to share with others that is theirs. It's not something that that they throw away. It's something they take with them. And with the military kids, you can tell all the difference mm -hmm. because they don't get to take everything with them. They have to really decide what's important and what's not. The stones are definitely a really cool thing for them. I can see myself using movie stones very soon because I'm going back to school very soon. So probably when I come home or like after I have a bad day or something, then I can you know pick pick a movie stone out and like you know go after um like to think to myself how the day went. The patience one is my favorite because I felt like patience was the thing I needed to work most on because I used to be a very impatient person with, you know, I didn't get my way, I didn't, you know, I used to get really angry and now I'm like more patient towards things. I tend to not get angry as quick as I used to. When I play with the Mubia stones, uh, my, me and my brother will play with the Mubia stones. 
and actually it will help me. Esme was for protection, but yeah, that was my movie of stone. The one that's purple and doesn't have anything on it is Faith. This green one right here, it means hope. I always hope because um, I really care about him and I don't want him getting hurt. Dara is my favorite because hope reminds me of, of my stepdad. He, he, um, he always says, he always says hope, hope whenever I go to sleep. Yes, Manajeev has really um, done wonders for our kids in the um, curriculum that they've gone through. Just shake hands and say, how are you? What's your name? I enjoyed Manajeev because it helped me, you know, boost my um, self-confidence.